2010 Olympic Games just days away, Bannock and the rest of the city is gearing up in the final stages for welcoming the world to Vancouver. But here at the Japanese Hall, the torch is already lit, the crowd has been cheering for hours, and the games are well underway. Welcome to the 2010 Poverty Olympics. The goal was to have a really uh, great community event to mm -hmm. give people courage and spirit to speak out. Another goal was to reach the international media and let them know that our governments could end poverty if they want to. Mm -hmm. This is like a kind of a family friendly, soft opening of Olympic resistance. freeway from demolishing our neighborhood. In the 70s we, forgot, we fought to get a name other than Skid Row and, a and for a community center. In the 1980s where we fought to get a park on the waterfront and started this, the fight for social housing. And in the 1990s we fought for our missing and murdered women and, and for our safe injection site. Now we're fighting for better housing, better incomes and to stop gentrification. People are seeing their schools close, people are seeing their health care get worse and worse, legal aid being cut, arts funding, people are experiencing that and they're now making the connections and saying, okay, seven billion spent on the Olympics and my local schools just closed down, something's not right here. Oh, what a steal by Alexandra Vickian in the loan! Deep stars! The Poverty Olympics has created a light-hearted, fun, kind of a tongue-in-cheek rather, sort of way of approaching these problems. Yes, it sheds light on the serious issues that is the homeless problem and the poverty rates in Canada. But also, it's shedding light on something that's all too often ignored. It's the creative side, the fun side, the innovative, justice-seeking side of the downtown east side. And today, everyone's a winner.